Hi, and welcome to Zox TV. I'm your host, Franco Lopari, and today we've got a special guest, Clint McBain, here with us. Clint, for the people who don't know you, uh, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? All right, uh, Franco, I'm, uh, again, my name is Clint McBain. I uh, race motorcycles, have been doing it for quite some time now. Uh, I've been competing on the Canadian National Series as a, as a pro rider since two, or 1999 is when I came in, and uh, I was fortunate enough to win uh, the national championship back in 2000, 2002, won the Pro 600 championship then, and basically ever since then I've been with the factory teams on and off, and now currently have our own team, run my own team called Acceleration Racing, with a lot of support from Suzuki Canada and their dealers all across the country, and uh, like I said, the last well, several years I've uh, finished within the top three. We haven't quite uh, secured the pro superbike crown just yet, but uh, that's our ultimate goal. That's what we're after, and uh, hopefully someday soon we're going to be able to do that. So Acceleration Racing, you have a couple riders with you. Who are those riders? Yes, we do. Uh, currently myself, I ride in the, the pro superbike class, and then I have a young up-and-comer that uh, is going to be chomping at my heels right away anytime. His name is uh, Cody Manischat, and he competes in the uh, amateur 600 class. Uh, so Clint, you do wear Zox helmets uh, while you race. Can you tell us a bit about Zox helmets and what features they have that make you want to wear this helmet? Well, frankly, you know, you introduced me to the helmet, uh, I believe, well, a couple of years back now. And, uh, you know, you talked about it. I'll, I'll never forget the day we talked about it. And I asked you a couple questions and, and you gave me some brief history on it. And then you talked uh, even the price point thing and then it came up. And, you know, i got to be honest with you, my first... Uh, thought about it when you, when, you, when you said the price point, it was, it was a, a very inexpensive helmet. And I thought the first thing that comes to mind, which I'm sure is, is for most consumers, is, is it's an inexpensive helmet. It's probably not really safe because a lot of corners are probably cut to keep it down. But uh, as we went through it and, and you introduced me to it and, and uh, I was out fortunate enough to test it, I guess, uh, as a true R&D and I tested it really good on the top and landed square on my head and, and came away with absolutely nothing, no, no concussion, no anything and uh, you know from that day on it's been it's been great I, I really like the helmet I've wore through all my racing because I've been racing quite a while I've wore a lot of different uh, competitive brands of helmets and uh, I've honestly got to say and I'm not just saying it because I'm sponsored with the Zox helmet but it is the most comfortable helmet I have worn. And what do you look for in a helmet uh, as a race helmet like I know the lightness is very important but what else do you look for uh, ventilation and stuff like that What's, what, what are the specs that you're looking for? Yeah, for, for me, like for racing, I don't wear the helmet for a long period of time. You know, I race it, you know, at the most it'll be an hour. Uh, I like them nice and tight, like almost to the point uncomfortably tight, snug everywhere, but uh, it still has to be comfortable. It can't have any pressure points or squeezing anywhere in the helmet. It doesn't have any of that. It just fits very comfortable, but snug. You know, even if I left the strap off, I'm done, done to shake it around, like to shake my head hard. The helmet doesn't move at all with the strap even undone. Okay. And then, you know, believe it or not, the ventilation, even here in Canada where it is a little cooler, it is very important because we do get, you know, some hot summer days out on the east and it, uh, it's nice to have that ventilation for sure. And is, a, is there any difference between riding a helmet on the track and riding with a helmet on the street? Like, do you look for different uh, specifications then? You know what, for me, just my street helmet. I, you know, I have the same helmet that I do use on the street. It's just not quite as snug. Okay, it's still snug, good. but it's not tight. Okay. Um, and you know, one thing that I really enjoy. You know, I wear earplugs on the track all the time. And when if I'm going for a long ride on the street, I'll put them in. But you know, if I'm just, you know, going out with a few friends or just you know for a quick cruise, I don't, I don't have to wear the earplugs. And I've noticed the helmet is extremely quiet, even without the earplugs, which is a, a big bonus, especially for those people that ride a lot. So now the race season is pretty much over. You guys got one more race left. How are you guys doing so far this year in the standings? We're doing, actually, the team is doing really good. You know, uh, we've moved, as I mentioned, our young riders moved up to a full-size motorcycle now, the 600, and he's actually leading the championship. Set numerous lap records, I think, at all, almost every track. Uh, the worst, he's finished a second overall at one race, so the other night he's won everything else. So he's really, really cleaning up there, and he's almost making the veteran rider, me, look bad here. Uh, I currently sit third overall right now. You know, we've been on the podium for the last few rounds, and, and we're just looking to get to the top right. top step of that box. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching Zox TV. I'm Franco Lepari, and special guest, Clint McBain. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.